my channel so today I have another haul video for you guys I know this has been requested for a while now and I'm super sorry I haven't been able to get around to it it's just that it's been raining a lot in Vancouver only recently has it been getting a little bit nicer and sunnier but every time it was sunny I already had orders going through so I was like I can't film yet but anyways um, without further ado let's just get started starting off I have these fawn pants um, and then with the fawn pants there is like a belt and it's kind of weird when you first look at it because this is the front so then you tie the belt in the back like so so then there are also like these little loops as well for you to tie your belt through and I just really love this like funky stripe design like a lot of my friends they don't like it they think my clothes are really weird but for me it's just really eye-catching and then there's like a little bit of like gold stripes running along it as well so it's like extra bougie and I just really like it it's really stretchy so it really helps if you are going out to eat the only thing is that I feel like the inseam is a little bit high because I got the double extra small and I'm gonna say it again I've been saying this couple of videos I could have afforded to get the extra small and it's like super breezy and I know there's a lot of other colors as well there's like a striped version and then there's like the plain version and I love how the tie is at the back because I feel like it kind of adds a little bit like an emphasis to your booty so yeah the next um, pants I got were actually the Essie pants and this is what they look like it's in the color Roebuck and I absolutely love this color it's like a dusty pink rose color and it's really sweet that one of my subscribers she actually messaged me on Instagram and she told me that she loves my videos and loves my hauls and that I should get these pants and I'm like girl you read my mind you know my style better than I do I didn't even know about these pants until she told me about them and I'm so glad she told me because I wear them all the time I love how they have like little pleats right here at the top so it's a lot more tailored a little bit more professional looking so I can wear them around the office it reminds me of like a mix of like the Coens and the Modestos like that's the only way I can really describe it like the top part it really reminds me of like the way the Modestos are like obviously it's a thicker material but the top part it really reminds me of kind of the way the Modestos hold and also like the same kind of tapering to the body like um, they have the same high-waisted booty emphasis kind of thing and then they have it has like the pleats same as the Coen's so it's a really like nice marriage of the two so another pair of pants I got were their Herve pants this is what it looks like it's super like tropical palm spring looking it's really nice it has like mixture of plants and even a bunny rabbit somewhere along here I can't yeah like yes there it is the bunny rabbit and it's just really like a beautiful like kind of chaos kind of look it's really high-waisted and it's also really long so for you short girls we're gonna have to get a hems because it fits super tiny like I remember I was wasn't really sure what size to get and then someone recommended I get a size zero and I was like hell no like Aritzia has gone weird over the years like all the sizes have shrunk or something so I decided to get a size two and I kid you not I could not even zip them up like I was pressing my stomach together like holding all my gut in cannot zip it up zip it up cannot zip it up and then um so i got these in a size six and it fits fine like it's still high-waisted but it's definitely really long so i'm gonna have to get a hemmed oh and another thing to um keep in mind with the fabric as well is that it does wrinkle really easily so even if you're just like casually sitting like anywhere like in your car at the office or anything when you stand up there's gonna be like little marks just like running around across the pants and it is a zipper enclosure as well so which is why it's like super tight there's like really no give and then moving on to tops i have this one right here it's the knotted top yes the knotted top from community um it's kind of hard to display it on camera because right now it's like really wrinkly but it's super cute it really reminds me of like kind of the throwback to the 90s and it kind of looks similar to the top i'm wearing right now um i forgot what it's called the huang blouse yes i'm wearing the huang blouse and it's kind of like a similar style where it has like a knot at the bottom and it's cropped and it's like a t-shirt but then with the kind of materials cotton so um, it's just a little bit of a, like a different polish like a finish I guess that's the best way I could describe it and like justify why I spent another like couple bucks on a shirt that looks exactly like the one I have 
So speaking of spending money on clothes that look really similar to the ones I already own, I also got this pageant corset. And this is what it looks like. It looks really small and to be honest, kind of is. It's super small and when you wear it, it's tight. Like, really tight. Like, I'm sorry, but I feel like Aritzia has really changed and everything's getting smaller. This is just not meant for like girls with big busts or something. I got a size 8 and I don't even think I have that big of boobs. Like, I range from a 34B to like a 32C. So... Like, I don't get it. But then it does have like a zipper enclosure in the back. And then it has um, a tie for you at the front as well. And I just really like the way it looks. It looks really structured. And there's also matching bottoms, which I haven't gotten yet, but I definitely will. And I was really debating for this between the white and the black because I feel like they both look like such good staples to have. So I might also get the black, to be honest. And then I also got this Calvin Klein um, set as well. So I got their bra top in a size medium, which is like usually my regular size for bralettes or for just like things up there. And then for the undies, I got the boy shorts version in the size small. And it's super comfortable. Everything people have said about them is true. They're super breathable and it's just like the softest thing ever. But the thing is that I don't think it's as flattering as I thought it would be. At least not on my body, but whatever. And then another thing I got from Mercia is this um, Eclumont B-neck jumpsuit. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while now, you'll know that I also have this in the regular kind of boxy neckline version like the original i actually sold that one so i could get this one whoopsie it just oh my god just because i love a v-neck i feel like it just makes your body look better and less boxy and so the v-neck is at the front and at the back and there's also like a tie in the front this time instead of the back and in the back there is like a slit for you um it's not really like distinguish the slit like you can't really see it that much unless you really look closely because it's more like a wrap and then you just tie the front i just think it might be a little bit easier for me to wear um i got mine in a size four and for me like at the top is pretty good i think there's like a little bit of space around my armpits and then um the rest is like it's fine i don't know it doesn't fit my body like exactly how I want it to, but it's a lot better in my opinion than the original as how it fits on my body. And then I also got this dress from Aritzia. It is from Community and I actually forgot what it's called. It's the linen blouse, but it's like more so like a dress. It's really long. To be honest, like my friend and I just like saw this in the store one day and we were like, whoa, it's on sale too. I think it was like back in December, so I'm not really sure if it's available, sorry. I'll double check, but um, yeah, I've had it for a while. I just kind of forgot to show it my last haul. And I think it's just a really nice, simple piece. Like if you're just like going out the door and you just want to grab something. And it's also great for layering, like wearing um, like a sweater on top it really gives you kind of like a schoolgirl kind of feel yeah it's not like super see-through either i remember i tried the white one and oh my god you can see my underwear but then this one like you can probably just get away with like really light garments yeah i really like this and i haven't had a chance to wear it yet just because um okay well i've already started wearing dresses but the weather really hasn't broke like 12 degrees recently so not exactly the time to start wearing dresses yet. It also has like really nice like cuff sleeves as well and a collar so it looks really like more polished and just like a little bit more structured to it. And like overall I feel like the fabric is kind of like a little bit on the thicker end. Not like thick thick but um, it's definitely like not like super flowy. It still holds its shape around you so yeah. And speaking of dresses, I also have this one. It's from Urban Outfitters actually. I just recently started going back to Urban Outfitters. I saw this piece and it really reminded me of Serena Vanderwoodson's dress to the white party because I know they have a white version as well. It's just um, they didn't have it in store. They had this version instead and I kind of like it a little bit better because I feel like it's a little bit more casual. I can wear it to like school. Okay, maybe I wouldn't wear it to school because to be honest, it's a little bit um, on the 
more revealing side like not exactly like slutty or anything but um I'd be careful wearing this, especially because like the front is like a v-neck and then it's like a halter. Sometimes I feel like a little bit of side boob is showing, but overall I really love it. And it even comes with pockets, like damn, it's just such a nice necessity to have. So I really like this, it's really long and because it's striped it makes me look taller. And something else I got from Urban Outfitters is this. A romper it is actually so beautiful I was so surprised because I think I saw it on Instagram at first and I was like oh my god this is pretty I went to the store and it was literally like at the corner no one thought it was gonna look nice but it turned out to be like a hidden gem it like cinches at your waist so there's a lot more like definition around there and it's also very billowy at the top and I got mine in a uh, size small because they're out of extra smalls but I think that's fine it also has like a collapse um, over here as well for the top so you don't go like flashing everyone um, but I would definitely wear like a cute bralette or like maybe even an undershirt if you're feeling a little bit more reserved underneath this because there is a chance you might flash some people. It has a really nice like flowery kind of design on it and it's like kind of like a gypsy and I really like it. It's really long as well so it's a little bit long on me but almost everything's along with me so it's fine I feel like it looks really different some people again like my friends they think it looks a little funky but I am totally cool with that okay and now on to Lulu's I have this um nice bralette kind of halter thingy top but it doesn't fit me like I really don't think I have that big of boost but apparently to the fashion industry I do because this was not meant for me I remember live chatting them and I was like oh what size would you recommend I gave them my measurement instruments and everything they're like okay so um our large size uh the bus is actually a 30 inch and I was like that's for your large so is your extra small like a fucking 26 or something that's the size of my waist like, I don't get it! I thought I'd like just try my luck, and unfortunately for me, um, luck was just not by my side. So, it was just not meant to be, but I thought it looked really good on some people. It has like a very stretchy material, so it does like fit kind of. It just doesn't cover my entire boobs, so that sucks. And there's also like a halter. Oops strings as well so that you can tie it like kind of like a halter and it's just like a really nice knot bralette kind of deal and I'm really bummed it didn't fit me okay so it took me a while to like figure out how to wear this or even to hang it but I also have this top from Lulu's I don't know why I displayed it that way this is what it looks like um, it has really nice frills like it's very flowy and has really nice like eyelet detailing at the front and the neckline and even on the back as well and it just looks like something you would wear to like a summer festival or like to Coachella it looks really like hipstery gypsy girl kind of feels and I really like it I got mine extra small and the only complaint I have about it is that sometimes at the shoulders it'll just like fall off so not really sure what to do there and then also from Lulu's I have these um, shoes loafers kind of like yeah I forgot what they're called and I got these mostly for the office because um, I am doing my internship right now at patio and I just wanted something a little bit more professional because not gonna lie I wear adidas like year-round I wear slides during summer and then I wear my adidas superstars during the winter so yeah not sure if that's like completely office friendly so what I've been doing is that I've just been having them in like my drawer so that every morning I just like change shoes and kind of scared to wear these outside because they're so nice and white and pristine right now so yeah oh this is what it actually looks like I just had um insoles inside because they're size five and a half and I'm actually size five so and from Aldo I also got these shoes um they're also purchased for professional wear and I got mine a size five because that's usually my regular slides but then I should have known with like leather or any like thing bow kind of like this um they are really tight and the girl convinced me she said that they would just stretch a little bit and I never did I've been wearing them for a while now not like super often because it really hurts whenever I wear them it kind of like cuts off my circulation and it's really hard to remove I always need to get my brother to like 
pull them and I, like it's actually like a such a struggle like i'll be standing there and he'll like be tugging at my feet trying to get them like pry them apart um but yeah kind of scared of those shoes but yeah, that's everything I got from Aristia and Urban Outfitters, Lulu's, and Aldo within the last couple of months. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And remember, if you do, click the like button to subscribe for more. And I'll see you really soon. Bye!